they baking? Hey, family, I came on right quick because I have been tagged by one of my girls, and her uh, scream name is Seven Come See Me. And so she tagged me with a serious question and serious, and wait, serious question and silly question number two. So um, I've been holding on to this, and I've been needing to do this for a minute now. Um, it's almost almost a week old. So I'm sorry, sister. I'm just getting to it. I'm sorry, my bad, but let's go and get this one out the way. Um, and I know I was tagged by my um, my boy Red. Oh, my God. And I never did it. I never did it, baby. I'm sorry. Um, Y'all know my shit be all on some whole other shit. But anyway, let's do this. The first question is, when does being a diva go from being fabulous and chic to shallow and pretentious? Well, the wor to me, the word diva has real bitchy undertones. And, you know, sometimes, well, me personally, I feel like some divas can have a real like flamboyant type of attitude like bitch I'm better than you I look better than you I dress better than you I don't want that dressing room I want to be over there I don't want to get in that car I don't want to talk to that man you know what I'm saying and really that's what it stems from like a divalicious type attitude and um, I'm so not even her you know, because I, me, myself, personally, I think of myself as a chameleon. And I feel like I'm very adaptable to my situations and to my surroundings. And I feel like what makes it shallow and pretentious is when, you know, people take that and they run with it and be on this charade type shit. And I feel like, you know, it's ugly to me. So, me personally, call me anything, but a diva, I'm not. I just don't feel like I'm a diva. I do, you know, I, I think it has a little twist to it. You know, I like the way it sounds and all that stuff like everybody else. But, you know, um, you know, I don't have that diva type of characteristics in me, you know. Um, so, I think, I think I'm answering it correctly the way you want me to answer, you know, the way you're um, asking me. Um, the next question is, is there another one? Hold on. Okay, this is the silly question. The silly question is, hold on, family. What advice has your mother given you that made you, that made no sense at the time, but makes perfect sense now? You reap what you sow. Yes. When my mom used to say that, I'm like, what the hell? I mean, you know, as a kid, it's like, what does that mean? You know? And um, now today, and just like I tell my kids all the time, you know, you better act like you want to be treated like. You know what I mean? If you're going out there and you're throwing off all kind of bullshit to people, you're going to get some bullshit back. And if you want to be treated respectfully and you want to be treated decent, then you got to give that off. You know? And so... My mama used to say that. She also used to say, um, um, <laughs> wow. My mind is shut down. <laughs> My mind is shutting down, but she would say, help me out, mama. <laughs> she would say all kinds of things that was like, Wow, did I find myself saying, you know, and, you know, as a child, I'm like, what the hell, you know, and like pot liquor and stuff like that. My mom used to say that, and I'm like, pot liquor, but it's just the juice from whatever you're fixing. So, um, I hope I'm answering this the, uh, right, but I'm only answering it the way I, 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 I can, and that's just to be honest about it. I don't want to put a 10 on a 2. Let me see if there's another. Um, mm. 
Let me know what you think. All responses and comments welcome. Thanks again, Bryce, for stopping by. All right, Mama. Well, I think I did it. Uh, I did what you asked of me. And, you know, I ain't got no problem with doing it. You know, I guess I'm so used to doing, um, you know, I guess I'm so used to motherfuckers sending me some off-the-wall type shit. You know, motherfuckers just like me to show out, I guess. You know, motherfuckers like to see me just tie one on. And I ain't got no problem with doing it. It's like obvious, huh? Because I ain't got no problem with tying one on. I tie one on in a minute and shit. I, I don't know. I guess it's just part of my makeup, you know? But... You know, I can only uh, only be who I am. You know what I'm saying? No extra airs, no extra bullshit. So the diva thing, I think when you you know when you start putting a ten on the two and acting like you above and beyond, and your shit don't stink, that's when I think the shit is raggedy fied. You know, and I don't know, your girl just not that. Tina is more peanut butter and jelly. You know what I'm saying? I'm that motherfucker with the, you know, low key Lipton suit. I mean, uh, um, what is it called? What was the name of that motherfucking tea? Lipton iced tea and the motherfucking Jiffy jar and shit. I'm that motherfucker, you know? I'm more laid back. <clears throat> like, you know, go to somebody's house and they lights and shit is cut off. I'd be like, shit, I was wanting to light these motherfucking candles anyway. Let's kick it, you know? I'm one of them. I'm not one to just be acting like, oh, I don't want to go to her house. Oh, I, don't, I can't eat your food. Oh, I ain't one of them motherfuckers. You know, go to somebody's house and you looking all up their wall and you looking all through their shit. I mean, I'm just, I'm not even her. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to work with it. I'm going to roll with whatever we got going on, bitch. Okay, look, we ain't got, how much money you got? You got $3? I got seven, bitch. We got ten dollars. Let's go get us a box of churches and feed these motherfucking kids. That's an eight piece. You know, I'm hurt. Everybody is not that way. See, some motherfuckers be like, bitch, you broke. You can't hang with me, this, that, and other. Nah, I'm going to put something with it and we're going to do what we can do with it. You know, we're going to work it on out. Go down there, get the $5.99 church chicken. Go grab a gallon of punch, you know what I'm saying, and do it moving. That's it, you know. And some motherfuckers just not like that. Or don't want to act like they like that. Everybody want to act like they much more than what they are. And I think that's a bunch of bullshit. On top of that, it's too much upkeep. Because after a while, when you stop, stop putting on all these extra airs and all this fronting and shit, and your shit really get found out, then you the one that's sitting up looking dumb as a motherfucker because now everybody's laughing at your ass like, motherfucker, a while ago you was acting like you was all this, that, and the other. Now come to find out, motherfucker, that car was a lease. You know what I'm saying? So, what's the point? That's what I say. What's the motherfucking point? If I get the line, my shit gonna come out. Oh, that's one thing my mama used to say. The truth will come to light. Hell yeah, and it does. Just be patient. Shit gonna be found out, baby. You ain't got you ain't got to ask no motherfucking neighbor or nothing like that or dig into some shit. It's gonna come out eventually. So, anyway, on that note, baby, I love you, sister. I'm so glad that you're here with us. Uh, again, I welcome you to my craziness. And um, good night. Bye.